बिसमीम हेलो एंड वेलकम टू रहमान डिजिटल प्रोडक्शन दिस इज़ लेक्चर नंबर 85 फाइव ऑफ फिज़िक्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इम्पोर्टेंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्लेन मेरर द फर्स्ट वन इज द ऑप्टिकल टेस्टिंग Dear learner if you are having a problem in your eyesight you might have visited the uh, optician for testing of your eyesight whenever they are testing your eyesight at the back of your chair you might have seen that there are letters of different sizes and the uh doctor is asking you that whether can you see this much bigger alphabets clearly and then if your answer is yes he is turn to the next row and asking that whether you can see this row clearly if your answer is yes then gradually they are going to ask you about the smaller objects the smaller letters so in this case they are testing your uh, eyesight in front of you there is a plane mirror in which you will see the uh, letters which is behind you and that is illuminated by a bulb or any other things so you can then see it clearly on the plane mirror and that is used to uh, show you those character which is actually uh, inverted so that the patient can see the letter correctly in the mirror and that will not be that much longer the room for this type of testing should not be that much longer so that the mirror is showing you it at a very longer because whatever the distance of the object is that much object that much will be the distance of the image in the screen just like you saw in the previous lecture so the illuminated letters are laterally inverted so the patient can see the letters correctly in the mirror at the same time the letters appear further than they actually are so the room need not to be that long i told you all the things the second one is the periscope now periscope is an instrument which is used to observe the object which is at distance from you and you can observe that very closely at a convenient place how it is working there is mirror one as you can see at the top and that is placed at 45 degree and there is mirror two which is at the bottom also they are putting that in 45 degree as well so the image of the tree is coming to the first mirror as you can see by the arrows and these arrows shows that this image is directed to this and then the mirror the plane mirror is reflecting it at 90 degree now again this mirror the mirror number 2 well direct that tree to the eyes which will be reflected to the eyes at 90 degree as well 
so the mirrors allow the observer to see a hidden object by bringing the image to a convenient place and that is the whole arrangement of the mirror the periscope the main purpose is to show you that how plain mirror is playing its role in these type of instrument the third type of application is known as blind corners now whenever you are driving in a hilly areas and you are driving and you are cutting a corner the other side of which is not visible to you so there is a danger of accident so the highway authorities are fixing a mirror that is a plain mirror at the 45 degree so that you can see the incoming vehicles uh, from the other side as you can see on the picture in the picture at the left side of your screen in the mirror you can see clearly that the other uh, vehicle is coming and then you have to slow down so careful driving well make sure that your life is safe especially in the hilly area so how it is working in the picture on the right side of your screen in which there are two red cars now this car is going to cut this corner which is blind one you are not seeing the other car so there is a car which is coming from this side and the mirror is reflecting the image of that car to this driver the mirror is fixed at 45 degree so the driver will see clearly the image and the driver will driver will consider that the car is actually straight away towards him which is not the case actually now if this driver want to see the image of this so this car will also be reflected to the driver in this way so uh, no accident will take place in this case so you saw that the mirror the plain mirror is playing a very vital role in our daily life the next one is instrument scale now that is also very important let me show you that if you are performing an experiment which is using galvanometers or ammeters we will discuss about these things in greater detail and there is voltmeter as well there is a very small graduation on these types of instrument and there is a very small pointer to see and clearly the graduation scales and the pointer and to avoid the parallax error the instrument is having a plain mirror above the instrument which is using the concept of 
or which is playing the role of a magnifier so you can see that you are seeing the pointer position as well as those small graduation very clearly with the naked eyes so another very important usage is in the instrument these type of instrument galvanometer is used to detect the current a meter is used to measure the current and similarly for potential difference we are using voltmeters we will discuss that in the electricity portion of this course which is very very important okay there is a scale which is shown in the brown here there is a plane mirror which is this one and there is image of the pointer so you are seeing this image of the pointer so you will be able to take precise measurements from these so plane mirror are playing the role because this will be this pointer will be shown in this plane mirror so exactly you will take the readings and you will avoid the parallax error by forming an image of the pointer the plane mirror eliminates parallax error in the reading of instrument scale and gentlemen there are other uses of the there are many many uses actually of this plane mirror in our daily life so plane mirror mirrors are also used in many optical instruments such as telescope overhead projectors as well as lasers now laser is a word this is an abbreviation light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation this is a special type of radiation and nowadays people are doing phd inside the laser so it's a big topic for you people for small children this laser is a word but there is a world inside it laser is used for precise cutting for rock destruction and there are laser guided missile as well uh many many applications are there so in laser we are also using the uh plane mirror might be you have seen in the book shops that if the shopkeeper is pointing to a specific book through a laser and calling the servant to bring me this book so there is a very uh small spark from the laser is coming on that book because the shopkeeper is away from the book so through that laser beam he is instructing the serviceman to bring me this book remember that do not expose your skin to the laser it can cause cancer so in the laser as well another common use of plane mirror is in the construction of a kaleidoscope kaleidoscope is used to uh see the colorful multiple images 
of small pieces of colored glass the picture you are seeing on the right side which is a colorful picture is being taken from the kaleidoscope and you can see that this is very colorful picture this pattern is made from that image of kaleidoscope so there is a usage of plane mirror inside that as well so with this we came to the end of the uh reflection portion and now we are turning our focus to the refraction now what is refraction first of all let me define the refraction refraction is actually the bending uh the bending of light the bending of light when it enters when it enters a medium so this bending effect is known as the refraction with the light there are many terms used there is polarization as well there is reflection of light there is refraction of light and many more uh terminologies are associated with the light so let us first discuss refraction at plane surface now consider that there is a glass slab which is a denser medium as compared to the air now you can see that this is the air and this is the glass slab which is the denser medium air is rare medium or a r e rare medium so this is the junction of those two medias another junction is this so when this light ray is coming it is going through the air and when it is entering to the denser medium so instead of going it straight it is bending a little bit towards the normal this line is showing the normal so it will always bend towards the normal if it is entering from rare medium to a denser medium and it will bend away from the normal if it is emerging out from denser medium to the rare medium as you can see in this area this angle and this angle is the same this angle and this angles are also the same but this angle is not equal to this angle because the light is coming out from the 
denser medium so it will move away from the uh normal the, the this dash dash line is showing normal to the plane so the figure which you are seeing shows the behavior of a ray of light traveling from air into glass and out into air again at the air glass interface it can be observed that the ray of light changes direction when it enters from air to glass and when it leaves from glass to air again in other words the ray of light bends we call this bending effect of light as it passes from one transparent material which is called an optical medium into another as refraction so that is why i wrote the definition of refraction one thing more i want to right for your convenience and that is a property i am writing it in a red when light enters very important a denser medium its speed slows down yes remember that when a light enters from rare medium to a denser medium then the speed of that light will be slow first it is going with the high speed but the glass is stopping it and when you are stopping a sudden a, a, a fast moving thing with a sudden stoppage it will change its direction if a person is running with the high speed and you are dragging him from hand which is not good but for your uh understanding i am doing this you don't have to apply this in your daily lives you can damage the bone of that person so it will change its direction when you are stopping that person another example i can give you is that when you are at the bank of a river and you are on the earth dry earth moving fastly but when you enter the water then your that speed will be reduced because you are entering from a rare medium to a denser medium so that is why you are bending towards one side so let me explain it in another word refraction is caused by the different speed of light in different optical media for example the speed of light in the air is approximately 3.0 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second the speed decreases to approximately 2.3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second when light enters from air into water and to approximately 
2.0 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second when light entered from air into glass. So, we say that glass is an optically denser medium than water and water is an optically denser medium than air. The greater the optical density of the medium, the slower the speed of light in that medium. So, hopefully you have understood the concept of refraction. Now, we will discuss the laws of reflection, which is our next topic. But due to time compulsion, I will have to stop it here. Tomorrow we will come with the new energy and then we will discuss these laws in greater detail. We will perform an experiment as well. And that experiment will pave the way to these two laws as it was in the case of reflection. Then we will formulate our observation. Thank you very much for your time. Have a nice time. Allah Hafiz.